Welcome back to Forex Professional Training in Financial Markets. In this session, flag patterns, its types and details will be discussed. Flag patterns. Flag is a continual pattern, like a real flag, has a rectangular shape, which is formed on a shaft. The horizontal rectangle is formed by several waves with a moderate slope or level peaks and valleys. A bullish flag pattern can be formed on an upward trend, in which waves may have a level shape or a gentle downward slope. Flag with a level and steady zigzag swings would have more effect and power rather than the flag with a moderate slope towards the bottom. Height, H, can be measured by calculating the distance between the starting point on the shaft and the peak of the first wave. TP price would be H and H2 pips above a breakout point or a valley of the last wave, while SL can be between the valley of the last wave and 61.8% level of the Fibonacci that is drawn on H. A bearish flag can be formed on a downward trend, in which waves may have a level shape or a gentle upward slope. A flag with a level and steady zigzag swings would have more effect and power rather than a flag with a moderate slope towards the top. Height, H, can be measured by calculating the distance between the starting point of the shaft and the valley of the first wave. TP price would be H and H2 pips below a breakout point or a valley of the last wave, while SL can be between the peak of the last wave and 61.8% level of the Fibonacci that is drawn on H. There are some important notifications. Shaft can either be a very long candle or consists of a multiple connected small candles with the same direction. If a trader draws a Fibonacci pattern on the shaft, the flag must not reach the 61.8% level of the Fibonacci pattern, otherwise this flag would not be valid anymore. If a flag reaches the region between 50% and 61.8% of Fibonacci, TP would be 27% of a shaft away from 0% Fibonacci. It means if a trader enters minus 0.27% level in Fibonacci retracement, TP would be on this level, with agreeing orientation to the current direction that the flag has formed on. In a bearish flag pattern, a trader must connect the first valley to the second valley to draw the neckline. A peak should be formed between the first and second valleys. After the second valley, market price should increase to form more waves. Whenever a market price crosses the neckline, a breakout point will be made. Some examples would clarify how to exploit this pattern on trades. There is a bearish flag on a downtrend with a moderate upward flag. TP can be specified by using the trend line, which is drawn on H, and by relocating the given trend line to a peak of the last wave or a breakout point. A trader could derive profit from this trade by placing a sell order with an entry price of a breakout point, SL, over peak of the last wave to 61.8% of Fibonacci. In addition to specified TP price, 1,183 pips lower than the breakout point. Just another bearish flag after the previous pattern. By drawing Fibonacci on a new shaft, H and H2 can be calculated. Fibonacci should be replaced to a breakout point or a peak of the last wave to specify the exact place of TP price. Price has met 50% of Fibonacci, thus it may proceed to 
minus 0.27% level of Fibonacci. A trader can add the new level through FIBO levels of the FIBO properties window. A trader can enter M in a description field if a trader does not change the location of Fibonacci, price would fall to M level. Another consecutive flag pattern can be detected. On an upward trend, a trader can find a bullish flag pattern. Trend line specifies a shaft and a rectangle of the given flag pattern. It was assumed that price would reach TP price. It would be more appropriate to consider TP price by placing H trend line on the last valley rather than the breakout point. A flag pattern would be abundant with satisfactory efficiency in volatile markets. There would be a short and small flag pattern on a trend that a trader must detect to develop his or her trading ability. That concludes this session. Until next time and another session. Take care.